What is up ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, it's your boy Goblin, and today we're coming in with a hoot and a holler, a true banger. Today, we're talking about the time that I accidentally dosed on Molly before a doctor's appointment that I forgot that I had. Hope you guys enjoy this video, drop a like if you do, and before I dive into that, a couple things I want to mention here. First off, A. Goblin merch now live, ladies and gentlemen. Click the link at the top of the description or go to goblin.merchforall.com and cop your Goblin merch today. Hey, we got the Let's Go Skiing hoodie for all my blow users out there. We got the Goblin logo hoodie. So clean, so sexy. Hey, beautiful. Look at this handsome guy in it. What is he doing? He looks great in it. Hey, you could look great in it too for only $35. Check the link at the top of the description, baby. You guys don't want to miss this. Hey, everyone who cops, please send me a DM with proof of purchase so I can follow you. It might take me a little bit because there's been a bunch of you guys who have purchased, which I really, really appreciate. You guys help keep this channel alive. Thank you all. I appreciate you. Let's dive right into it. So, this happened years ago. This happened such a long time ago, back in 2016. And, oh my god, dude, just looking back on this, like, it feels so recent, but dude, that's, it's been four years since this took place. Like, what the fuck, dude? What is going on here? I, uh, damn, a whole lot has gone down since the good old days. But either way, back on topic here. So, at this point in my life, right, I was pretty heavy into my Molly phase, right? I was good friends with Ashen at this point. I was buying a, a Molly off him, getting some for free for driving him to serves, and I just generally always had some sort of psychedelic on me, especially at this point. And on this particular day, I got home from school, and I was planning on going over to Kyle's house, right? Nicknamed Kevin, some of my past stories, but Kyle's his real name. We're just, we're using his real name from now on. But either way, I was planning on going over to his house, but my mom had the car for the night, so I was just going to take an Uber. And I've talked about this in past videos, but listen, if you remember doing this, you're a real one, dude. Back in the day, Uber used to have these discount codes where if you were a freshly, like, new sign-up account, you could get a free $20 ride, like, no payment needed, just up to $20, bucks, first ride free. So I would just take $19 rides and keep signing up with new emails, because, and you, you, like... They didn't even verify if they were like, you know, like those little text now app phone numbers that you connected. So you could just keep making like Google Voice or like text now numbers and just making new Uber accounts. It was, listen, I abused the fuck out of it. That was my plan, right? I had my Uber account set up, right? I was getting ready. I hopped in the shower and I get out of the shower and I pop a little cap, right? And this cap had about 0.2 in it. A little bit over that, but give or take about 0.2, right? Right. And I pop this, and I'm just chilling out for a little bit, getting ready for whenever Kyle's ready, right? Preparing to call my Uber, and my mom comes downstairs, right? And she's like, hey, are you almost ready for that doctor's appointment? I'm like, yeah, when is it? Like, what are you talking about? Thinking she's like, you know, talking about the next day or some shit, or like the next week. Like, oh, like, you ready for that doctor's appointment? She's like, we're leaving in like 30 minutes. I say, excuse me? She's like, yeah, we're leaving in 30 minutes. Now, I had completely forgotten this doctor's appointment was a thing. The reason this was scheduled, it was a full physical. And the reason it was scheduled is because back in high school, I got prescribed this medication called Accutane. It's a medication that gets rid of acne. And my acne was way worse in high school than it is now. And this medication could affect your blood pressure and like a whole bunch of different things. So I had to go get a full-on physical before my dermatologist would prescribe it to me, right? But he, he you know... I I didn't actually go get the appointment to get my physical for like a month. So I completely forgot this was a thing. So she comes down. She's like, oh, yeah, we're leaving to the fucking doctors in like 30 minutes. And I'm just sitting there like, you've got to be shitting me. The Molly's already down the hatch. Like, you've got to be trolling me at this point, right? So I'm like, whatever. I just try to collect myself. I'm like, okay, here we go. And I try not to think too much about it. And I'm sitting downstairs, right? I'm chilling out. I'm on my PC. I have my desk set up downstairs. I'm just chilling on my computer, you know, kind of hanging out uh, on my computer for a little bit, getting ready to go. And I end up getting off my PC and sitting on the couch a little bit, right? I was just scrolling through Twitter. And I hop on the couch, and it hits me. And listen, back then... I don't think I've ever done Molly that was as good as the shit I was doing at this point. Like, the stuff that Ashton was getting was unbelievable quality wise like the best molly i've done to this very day right and i've done plenty more since then but this is still to this day holds up as just the best right 
So I remember sitting there, this molly hits me, and just my arms start tingling, and I just feel my whole body just start tingling and getting lighter, and I just, I feel myself getting lit, and I'm sitting there, and I'm like, oh, fuck, dude, here we go, you know, this is about to get lit, so I bust out my earbuds, you know, I'm bumping a little bit of music, I'm chilling on the couch, right? I'm having a time in my life, and I don't realize it at this point, but I'm sweating balls, right? I'm absolutely fucking dripping, and my mom comes downstairs, and she's like, hey, are you ready to go, right? I yank my earbuds out. I'm like, yeah, let's get it. Now, I don't realize this until I stand up and I, I swipe my hair. You know, I kind of fix my hair a little bit, right? I got some kind of long hair. I run my hand through it, and my hand is just soaked. And I look at my hand, and I, like, feel it, and I notice it, and I'm like, oh, man, I'm fucking lit right now. And the thing is, like, I just, I did not feel it at all, right? I did not feel it at all. I was not, just not a care in the world, just vibing dude having the best fucking time arms tingly can't feel my legs my jaw i'm trying to stop it from wiggling but god fucking damn it am i having a great day right so i hop in my mom's car right and she drives me to the doctor's appointment and luckily this doctor's office is only like five minutes from my mom's house but i could just tell by the way she was kind of looking at me and kind of acting the whole ride that she totally knew i was fucking sent right i mean realistically how could she not she came downstairs and asked if I was ready, and I was completely normal and chilling. And she goes back upstairs. And then 30 minutes later, she comes downstairs, and my pupils are bowling balls, and I'm literally dripping sweat. Like, wh I wonder what she must have thought, right? What actually do you guys think her thought process was? But either way, back on topic here. So, we get to the doctor's office, chill out. I, she checks me, and I have a seat, right? And this doctor, right, this has been my family doctor for years, but at this point, he still didn't know I did drugs. I didn't really tell him that stuff. He knew I smoked some pot because my mom already knew, but my doctor didn't really know the full extent of my drug use. And the problem was at this point, I was still under 18, right? So I can't just be like, hey, doc, I did a bunch of fucking molly right now, and I'm absolutely fucking lit, right? I can't just say that. So I get checked in, I sit down, and pretty quickly a nurse comes out and brings me in. And because I'm under 18, my mom comes in for the first part of the physical, right? They do my height, my weight, all that, yada yada, write that down. And I go into the room, right? And they sit me down on the fucking bench thingy. You know what? Listen, I guarantee nobody knows what the thing's called. The, the fucking weird chair bed thing in the doctor's office with the, the little weird, like, wax paper on it that you lay on. No, I guarantee nobody knows the real term, including me. But it's the bench, it's the thing. Sit on the thing, right? That's what the nurse would always say. Just have a seat, dude. Sit on the thing, right? So, that's what I know it as. It's the goddamn thing, and that's what it will always be, right? So, either way, back on topic here. Uh, I get in there, and I'm like, bet, dude. I'm ready to rumble. I'm chilling. I'm still lit, but I still don't really notice how lit I am. Until the doctor comes in, right? The nurse leaves, and my mom's just kind of glaring at me and giving me the filthiest fucking look ever. And finally, right? Finally... The fucking nurse leaves and the doctor comes in after what felt like an eternity of just sitting in silence, rolling balls while my mom's glaring at me. Just not saying a word, right? Doctor comes in, he's like, hey, Nick, what's going on? You know, and like I said, this has been my doc for literally years, bro. Like, this guy, I've been, like, my parents took me to this doctor and I was like a baby. And I'm like a grown-ass man and I still go to this guy. He's an OG. This, like, nowadays, this guy knows I've done almost every drug under the sun, right? He knows I've smoked crack. I've gone to him and said, Doc, I, yeah, after Coke Chronicles, I, I went to this guy. And I was like, Doc, my nose, I think it's scent, right? Like, you just, listen, when you're an adult, you can be straight up with your doctor, Pro tip right there. But when you're younger, you can't really do that. So he comes in. He notices right off. Like, he just looks at me, and I can just tell he notices something's up with me. But he doesn't really give a fuck, right? He's chilling out, uh, and he's just like, how you been? He's kind of making small talk with my mom. And he sits me over in this little chair on the side of the room. He moves me from the big bed uh, to this other little chair to take my, my fucking uh, blood pressure. It's blood pressure, right? I'm really stoned. I think, yeah, it's blood pressure. You know where it's the number over the number, you know? Yeah, it's the blood pressure where they wrap the thing around your arm. Y'all know what the fuck I'm talking about. Listen, I could never be a doctor, let alone a nurse. I don't know shit about that stuff. But what I do know is I'm shocked I don't have 10 holes in my nose. But either way, let's get back on topic here. So... I sit down in this little chair. They wrap the little thing around me to take my blood pressure. I'm chilling out. They take that. All fine and dandy. I, you know, they got my heart rate, my blood pressure, dude. They, they, they even had a little thing on, like, my finger. They were doing all this stuff, right? They were doing all this wild stuff. 
And I'm sitting there, and I don't even think about it. I'm just so lit. I'm just chatting it up with the doctor. I'm like, man, how you been? You know, it's great to see you again. I haven't been in here for an appointment in uh, so long, it feels like. You know, I'm just having a good old time talking to the nurse. I'm oh, how are you doing? Oh, how, has it been busy today? You know, all this kind of shit, right? And finally, they take me off the blood pressure thing, and they're like, oh, you're you're really up there right now. Like, wow, that's uh, we're going to have to go back to that, right? And luckily, I don't think right away my doctor assumed that I was fucked up, right? So I get up from this chair and I go back to the bench thing. And as soon as I go back to the little chair bench thing, I'm never going to know what to call it. I ask them to kick my mom out of the room, right? Because it's a physical at the end of the day. And it's getting close to the part where you got to cough while the fucking dude holds your nuts, right? Or the woman, if you were lucky. Y'all know you've been to the doctor's appointment. They're like, dude, we got to find out if you got ball cancer, bro. You got to cough, you know? Everyone had to do that shit, right? At least every man. Every man had to do that shit. If you got a pair of nuts, they got squeezed while you coughed at one point or another, right? But either way, back on topic here. So, I I figure this is like a smooth time to get my mom out of the room, so then I can kind of play my cards here, right? Because the whole time I'm starting to think, while I'm rolling and lit as fuck, I'm also trying to think like, okay, how am I not going to go to the emergency room here, right? Like, I'm trying to think as rationally as I can while I'm just bussing hard as fuck like i'm peaking at this point right or not i wouldn't say peaking but i'm getting very close to it right maximum tingle sweat and balls don't feel a thing i'm literally just clenching my fucking jaw like i'm trying so hard to keep my mouth from just wiggling and shaking right so he doesn't think i'm fucking sent so either way he sits me down on the thing right and he chats with me a little bit he's like so uh what have you been up to he's like why uh he's like why are you sweating so much and I'm like, oh, you know, I just immediately pull some bullshit out. I'm like, oh, I just got done mowing the lawn. Uh, it was really, you know, it was a hot day out. You know, I really had to mow a lot. You know, I helped out with the neighbor's lawn, too. I did two. I was just mowing the fuck out of this lawn. Little does he know, I lived in a townhouse. We had no lawn. There, Like, there was no grass to mow. We had no grass that belonged to us. None of it, none of it. Could not mow a fucking thing, even if I dr- fantasized about it. My wildest dream, I couldn't mow the lawn, right? But that wasn't the point. The point was, I just had to make this motherfucker think I mowed the lawn. So I'm like, oh, dude, I mowed the shit out of that lawn, Doc. You would not fucking believe it, right? And he's like, oh, you know, that so- sounds like, uh, you know, you you, uh, you worked pretty hard today. And I'm like, oh, yeah, you know? And I'm just kind of chatting with him a little bit. And he doesn't really seem too concerned, so I'm kind of chilling. Then he asked me to stand up, and I do the little cough thing to make sure I don't have testicular cancer and stuff like that. My nuts are all good. He says, you know what, Goblin? You've actually got the fucking biggest nuts in the best condition I've ever seen. That's what they said. And you know what else he said? He said, everyone who buys Goblin merch has is going to have nuts in that condition, uh, as far as we could tell medically. That's from a medical professional, by, by the way. So if you guys want to up your scrotum, goblin.merchforall.com. Link's at the top of the description, baby. Go get your merch today. Hoodie's only 35 That's the most expensive item. Back on topic. So, either way, uh, I'm like, I stand up, you know, I do my cough and all good. I sit back down. I'm just chatting with him a little more, you know. I'm, I'm like, hey, you know, how's your family been? You know, how have you been? Because... Like, my whole family loves this doctor, right? Like, this is a a family doctor here, right? We've all been going to the guy for ages. He's such a cool motherfucker, right? But either way, so uh, I'm chatting him up, and he does the thing where I got to lay down, and then he puts the, the, like, heart rate thing on my back and then my chest, and he makes me inhale a whole bunch. Not the heart rate thing, but, you know, the thing where he listens to how I'm breathing, and he does it in, like, 20 different spots. You, You guys know what I'm talking about, right? So either way. I do that, I'm inhaling, exhaling, I'm trying as hard as I can just to chill out, but I'm so sweaty, and I can just feel that as soon as I, as soon as, like, he has to do that, he, like, as soon as he gets up close to me, really, he notices, like, how sweaty, like, I'm dripping, my hair is wet, I am dripping sweat, right, gamers? So, either way, uh, I'm, I'm just tweaking the fuck out, and I'm starting to, like, really get nervous, I'm like, oh, fuck, because he finishes up checking my breathing, right, and I'm still busting as hard as I can, but I just, you know, I, I was really experienced with rolling at this point, and I was rolling, like, way more often than anyone should be, so it wasn't, like, really out of the world to act as normal as I could on Molly, you know, like, I was able to control myself, I was just starting to get a little worried, right, I was like, dude, what if he finds out I'm rolling, right, then the scary part came, Where he asked me to sit up, and then he looks in my mouth, my nose, and at my eyes, right? And this is where shit got really scary, because once he asked me to open my mouth and he had that flashlight on, I realized that he's about to look at my eyes. And if there's any way to tell if someone's rolling absolute sack, it's the fucking eyes, 
right? And I knew for a fact, listen, I didn't have like a mirror to just bust out, but I know for a fact my eyes had to be ridiculous. Ridiculous. This had to be a hilarious experience for this doctor, right? He, he asked me to open my mouth, lift up my tongue, do all that shit, right? He's giving me the full exam. He's looking up my nose and shit with whatever that, like, weird fucking thing is they use for that. Then, he gets around to my eyes. And once he gets to my eyes, he starts off with the thing where he, he holds up the flashlight and he makes me follow his finger, like, behind the flash or, like, in front of the flashlight, right? And I, the only thing I can think of to say is I tell him... I'm like, oh, by the way, I'm pretty stoned right now. Like, I was smoking while I was mowing the lawn, so, you know, I uh, I might not do this so well. You know, I'm, I'm pretty high right now. And it's, like, it took me the entire appointment to think of that as the only excuse for anything that was going on, right? I was just like, maybe, just maybe, I could get away with that excuse, right? And he's like, oh, you know, that's that's okay. You know, just try your best. And I follow his fucking finger. Then he gets real up close to my eye with that weird, like, zoom-in thingy, you know? I don't, I don't know any of the medical terms for what they use for that shit. But when he got close to my eye, I was terrified. Because I was like, how is this guy not saying anything, bro? Like, my, I, like, I didn't see my own eyes. But I was just like, dude, they have to be saucers right now. How, like, does this guy really think I'm just stoned? But I just rolled with it. I was just like... Yeah, man, you know, I, uh, I ate a little edible and I was just smoking, you know, I'm just spewing shit to this fucking doctor, just trying my hardest to think of any excuse I could give for the condition I'm in right now. Dripping sweat, eyeballs, saucers. What can I do? Mow the lawn and stone is the best thing I could think of, right? So I spit that to him, and it seemed to have worked, right? He takes me back to the heart rate thing again, and he's like, let's just try your heart rate and your blood pressure one more time. And I'm just sitting there, and I'm trying as hard as I can to control my breathing and chill out. And luckily, it went down a little bit. And he's like, well, you did just say you were mowing the lawn, so kind of makes sense. But other than that, you look pretty good. Everything seems normal. And I'm like, dude, are you kidding me? I'm bussing right now. Like, I, like, he really must think I'm smoking the strongest pack in the fucking country if he just thinks everything's normal besides my current state, right? But I didn't ask any questions. I was just like, oh, okay, you know, it's great to see you. Is there anything else I need from you? You know, yada, yada. And we just do our little catch-up chat a little bit at the end, just kind of fucking around. He's like, yeah, just don't show up stone, ne- you know, next time, you know? And I'm like, oh, my bad, Doc. Oh, see, silly me, dude. You know, I'm just wild then, right? So I get back out there, and my mom's sitting waiting in the lobby, right? And she's sitting there with her arms crossed, and you can just tell she's pissed. Like, you can tell she knows something is up, 110%. So the car ride back home, the five-minute car ride felt like 500 minutes because it was just the stiffest, most silent car ride ever. We're sitting there, and I'm just like... Uh, the only thing I said is I was, I was like, well, thank fuck that's over with. There's something along those lines. Just some like something to throw a statement out there. And she literally didn't even turn her head in my direction. She just acted like she didn't hear shit. And whenever my mom does that, that's terrifying. She, Whenever she stonewalls me, that's the scariest thing she can possibly do. So I knew to tap out on any statements then and there. But the thing is, as well, my mom was so, like, fed up with my drug use at this point, she didn't even really punish me. Like, I was, like, perma-grounded. Like, at this point, I'd already been grounded for, like, a year, and I just don't think I ever got ungrounded at this point. Like, I don't think there was any more punishment to do, you know? So she didn't really do a ton, but either way, finally got home, got the fuck out of there, Ubered over to Kyle's house, and had a lit fucking night. Just a little late to the party, but hey, hope you guys enjoyed this video. Drop a like if you did. Also, don't forget to cop your Goblin merch today. Link at the very top of the description. Thank you all for the support. I will see you guys next time. Peace.